Hello, beloved. This is your grace note for Wednesday, August the 12th. A few weeks ago, uh, I actually traded vehicles, got a new vehicle. I, I have a tendency to put uh, quite a bit of mileage on a car, and I had accumulated miles on a former vehicle. So I traded and actually got a truck, which I've not had in a while. So in the trading of the vehicles, and just in the last several years as we have I actually took Kathy's older vehicle, and she got a new one a few years ago. So anyway, in all of that switching around, she got my Cirrus radio. Um, it was not compatible in the one that I, the vehicle I got, and I just traded. So anyway, I had enjoyed the Cirrus radio, and you know you can pick stations of your liking. Um, they're very specific in terms of the genre. Of music. So I enjoyed that for several years. Then Kathy, it went to that vehicle. And so with the new one, it also doesn't have that capacity. So we were trying to figure out a way to get um, music that I liked without just having to listen to the radio all the time. So we found a system that I can use on my phone and it uses Bluetooth and I play music that I like. So I've been building a file of all of my favorite music over the several weeks that I can listen to in the new truck. And it's an amazing thing. It's a little bit scary that as I began to add artists and songs, uh, the actual program, I think it's Amazon Music or whatever, the actual program I was using, once it got a sense of the music I liked, then it would start suggesting music or loading other music um, that was similar to the one, the pieces that I had picked. So I told Kathy the other day, um, it's almost now like a soundtrack of my life. Uh, so many memories from the past and all through all these years, I told her it was like being in high school or college again. All of those favorite old songs have come back and it's on, they're on a playlist, so I get to listen to them daily if I want to. So it, it just struck me as a soundtrack of my life. So then that kind of sparked the idea of what is the soundtrack of our spiritual life, our spiritual journey? And it struck me that that's the role of the Psalms. The Psalms capture our highest heights of praise, our lowest moments or feelings of despair and everything in between. It's actually the songbook of the people of God. So the Psalms are the soundtrack of our spiritual life and spiritual journey. So I wanted to show you a book I've used for years. I've probably showed you this before, but it's called Psalms Now. And it's a paraphrase of the Psalms in contemporary language. And they're just beautiful. I use them for devotionals my own personal devotionals and even staff devotionals and what have you. But I wanted to share some of the Psalms and listen to the contemporary language as kind of a soundtrack of our spiritual life and spiritual journey. This is the paraphrase of Psalm 1. Those persons who choose to live significant lives are not going to take their cues from the religiously indifferent nor will they conform to the crowd, nor the mouth, nor mouth their prejudices, nor dote on the failures of others. Their ultimate concern is the will of God. They make their daily decisions in respect to the will of God. Compare them to a sturdy tree planted in a rich, in rich moist soil. As the tree yields fruit, so their lives manifest blessing for others and are purposeful and productive. So that's Psalm 1. And I'll just share just a few other lines from some other ones. And again, the soundtrack of our life, uh, of our spiritual journey. Uh, Psalm 4, the beginning of it says, Dear God, respond to your servant in distress. Make room for a disciple in despair, listen to the agonizing cries of a child who is depressed and unhappy. Sometimes we get down and we can pour out our hearts to God. Psalm 5 says, 
Can you hear, O oh God, what I have to say? Do you feel something of what I feel this morning? So this is Psalms now, and then there's uh, praise and worship. This is Psalm 9. My heart overflows with gratitude to God. I feel so exuberant. I simply must express my exuberance or explode. I will give voice to my exaltations. I will sing your praises, O oh God. So praise and worship. So I just want to add one more as an example of Psalms now, the soundtrack of our life. Encompass me with your love and mercy, gracious Lord. I have no security except in you. I am continually exposed to the destructive forces of this existence. I'm in constant danger of losing the battle to the passions and desires that want to own my nature. I can only submit myself to you and trust that you will fulfill me and your purposes will be fulfilled in me. Your love, O oh God, is steadfast. Your grace is everlasting. When I'm beaten down by depression, ensnared by my weaknesses and frailties, and even when my own lust threatens to devour me, you are my God and you will not let me go. I'm determined to serve you, O Lord. May my life be a continual thank offering to you. I shall sing your praises forever. Psalms now, the Psalms are a soundtrack of our life and our spiritual journey. Would you pray with me? Indeed, O oh God, encompass us with your love and mercy, for you are our security. We are continually exposed by all kinds of destructive forces, and we are our own worst enemy. But your love is steadfast. Your grace is everlasting. Even when we feel down or beaten down, or our weaknesses and frailties overcome us, it is helpful to know that you will never let us go. We are determined to love and serve you, so make our lives a continual worship offering to you as we follow the soundtrack of our life and faith, the Psalms, and offer praise to you. In Christ's name, amen. We love you. We pray for you every day, and may God be near you and listen to the soundtrack of your life and your spiritual journey, the Psalms. Bless you.